Hello everybody, hope your summer is going great. You know mine is so far, it's been pretty busy. But uh, today I got some time, it's Saturday, and uh, it's a pretty nice day. Sun's out slightly, so uh, my neighbors are out frantically cutting their grass, weed whacking, doing all those things that I normally would be doing. But today I'm gonna take on a different kind of project. Project for good old RV here. You know, to me nothing's as exciting as harnessing the raw power of the sun to generate electricity. Now in order to get power from the sun you're going to need a few things obviously. Some kind of solar panel or collection device. You need a charge controller and uh, it's going to hook to your batteries. And you need some cabling and you have to figure out how to run that wire within your RV. So this is a different kind of uh, panel that I picked up from a company called Unisolar. Actually I got it on Amazon for a steal. Um, it's flexible, it's got an adhesive on the bottom so it's going to stick right to my roof and you won't even know it's there. And this one generates 128 watts and uh, I'm real excited to put it to use. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So now I'm up on the roof of the motorhome and I've gone ahead and uh, laid out the panel the way it's going to look on the roof. It's not stuck to the roof yet, but what I want to do is just test all the connections and make sure it's going to be charging okay like I expect. So here's what it looks like all laid out on the roof. You can see this one's kind of long and it uh, it's actually 200 and about 215 inches. Um, but yeah, the really cool thing about it is it's just really low profile and it's a uh, you won't even notice actually looking at it from the from the road. So it already comes with connections um, that are going to connect to my charge controller. And what I'm going to do is I have a uh, an old RV battery with the charge controller hooked up to it. So I'm going to go ahead and test the the uh, connections to see if it's actually going to charge. Right now it's uh, you can see it's really not that sunny out, so I probably am not going to get a whole lot of. Uh, um, current running through it, but uh, but it should be plenty to test. So let's go ahead and go down and uh, go to the battery. Okay, so I'm back on the ground now, and uh, what I've got here is a uh, two connections coming off of the solar panel. So what I can do, it's not connected to anything yet, but what I can do is just see what kind of voltage I'm getting out of the panel before I hook it up to the charge controller. Okay, so even with uh, some cloud cover, I'm getting about 41.6 volts out of this panel. So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, set it up to my, my little test battery here and uh, check the connections and uh, before we actually hook it up to the RV. Okay, now I've got the uh, solar panel hooked up to the my MPPT charge controller. This is a 30 30 amp controller. I don't uh, this panel's not going to generate up to 30 amps, but uh, you know it's good to be safe. So you can see right now I'm checking the uh, on the controller side. I got my voltage meter hooked up to the incoming uh, panel um, connections, positive and negative, and you can see it's kind of fluctuating right there between 22 and 25 uh, volts. So what it what the charge controller did is it uh, kind of increased uh, my current and, and reduced the uh, reduced the, the, the volts on the panel. So this is a more intelligent uh, controller that's going to basically optimize the output of your panel. And that's what the MPPT um, controllers do. Uh, more about that on the blog. I'll, I'll put some more information about MPPT. 
I had to learn about it. <laughs> um, pretty cool stuff. So now if I look at my, uh, actually you can see that the blinking light there means that it's charging, that the MPPT is working. Um, I've got the output uh, charging this battery, so I'm going to go on the battery side. And you'll notice that uh, my voltage on the battery is kind of steadily climbing to 20. It was 12.7, now it's 12.8, now it's 12.9. And that's what the uh, MPPT algorithms do, is they just kind of gradually start increasing the voltage on your, uh, uh, on your battery, and uh, while also giving you more current. So it's sucking more current out of the incoming, uh, incoming volts uh, from your panel. So it's getting the most, um, most out of your panel. Uh, you'll see some of these listed as a 30% boost in uh, performance. Um, these MPPT controllers. So this is a fairly inexpensive one. I paid a little over $100 for it. Um, you can certainly get some really expensive ones. So this one seems to be working fine as long as you don't, as long as you connect it uh, according to the instructions. So yeah, so my test seems to be uh, working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the hookup. So now I, all I have to do is basically put the panel on the roof, um, clean the surface, uh, get it stuck down, and um, run some cabling. That's going to be the hardest part I think is going to be is going to be running all the the wiring into the inside of the coach and hooking it up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with it. Okay, now first things first. Um, getting ready to put the panel down on the roof, but uh, before I did before I do that, um, I went ahead and uh, made sure the uh, roof was nice and clean. I used this uh, nice Camco rubber roof cleaner. Um, I want to start with a nice clean roof because this thing's going to be down somewhat permanently. So uh, now we got a nice clean roof, and uh, I did this another day, and um, now I'm ready to go ahead and lay the panel out the way I want it and uh, get it uh, get it adhered to the roof. So let's go ahead and do that. It's getting exciting. Okay, so now this panel is on the roof, and it's on there for good, so it's not moving. Um, so the next step is to uh, do some wiring, and I'm going to run the cables. Um, see, it comes with a pre-wired cable, so I have some some uh, cables that you saw earlier, and I'm going to go ahead and run those over to. I've already figured this out. Run this over to this vent, and. Uh, Hopefully run it down. I have to maybe drill, a, enlarge this hole a little bit, and it uh, should come down right near my bathroom, which should be able to run it uh, near where all of my power is. So, so that's the next task is to uh, is to pull some cable, and uh, I'll tidy all these things up later. Looking good, huh? Okay, so uh, I've successfully run the cable from uh, from the solar panel down through the wall, through these little cracks and crevices uh, into the um, kind of the belly of the beast here. Uh, this is where all the power um, comes in, and my inverter is here. And uh, I know how I'm going to hook this up, so I've made this fuse thing right now so I'm basically doing a bunch of wiring and um, I'm getting this getting this thing all wrapped up I got my charge controller here it's gonna be mounted kind of out of the way my wife thinks this is kind of ugly so I don't really want to put it in a place that's um, not gonna be readily seen <laughs> 
So here's a picture of the crime scene. Um, so all the uh, electronics, most electronics in my rig anyway, are uh, are located under my bed in the uh, in the bedroom area. So here's my inverter. There's the um, automatic transfer switch. Okay, I'm going to be hooking up the uh, charge controller to my battery through these connections through these connections down here. And uh, so yeah, so I got kind of a lot of stuff laying around. Uh, doing a lot of wiring right now and uh, looks kind of like a mess so if this kind of scares you then uh, this project is probably not for you you kind of have to know a little bit about how your rig is wired and uh, especially where the power comes from anyway I'm gonna continue on I'm gonna get all this wiring done and uh, should be able to uh, wrap this up pretty soon and at least get to uh, where I'm charging right now I have all the power shut off batteries are disconnected um, all the shore power is disconnected so Gotta be safe, right? And um, we'll see how it turns out. Um, so we'll uh, check back when I'm done. Okay, now everything's hooked up and everything seems to be working properly. So uh, it's about time to put the wraps on this project, but let's go see how everything turned out. So let's take a look at the uh, charge controller. As I mentioned earlier, I wanted to mount it somewhere out of the way because it's a uh, my wife thinks it's kind of an eyesore. I uh, didn't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a really nice flush mounted one. So this one will do. It works just fine. So if we take a look at it, you can see that the uh, blinking red light indicates that it, uh, the panel is charging my batteries. Um, batteries are pretty well charged at the moment. And uh, you can see where I mounted it. It's kind of right, right under my bed, um, out of the way, but uh, still accessible. So. The hookup on this was pretty easy. I've actually um, I've actually been messing with it for a while. Now let's go up on the roof and take a look at the uh, at the panel, the finished product. See, now when it's sunny out, I get real excited knowing that my battery is being charged and the solar panel is just getting that free energy from the sun. Let's take a look at the panel. So I uh, you know, showed you earlier, I got it all mounted and stuck to the roof. So a few finishing touches here. I uh, painted the cable, uh, painted it white so it kind of blends in. I ran it down into that vent, put a few uh, clamps on it so it's secured nicely to the roof and then I finished up with some some of that self-leveling uh, rubber roof sealant around the edges just to give it a nice finished look and I also put a couple clips here and there just to ensure that it stays securely fastened to the roof and I love how this panel is flush mounted to the roof so from the ground you won't even know it's up here I don't have some eyesore or you know uh, issue with wind or uh, something rattling around on my roof. So I'm really happy about the design and um, efficiency of this panel. Pretty cool. You know, taking a look at uh, my number two battery here. Um, as you you may not know it, but uh, when my when I bought my coach, it came with one battery. So I uh, installed a second battery. Uh, the other one's on the other side of the uh, RV. So I got a little meter up here so you can see it's uh, teetering right between 12.9 and 13 volts which is a pretty good charge so um, solar panels working it's keeping my batteries topped off and uh, and that's a good feeling knowing that it's not even plugged in to shore power and the batteries are staying nice and topped off and nice and full so pretty cool so this project is all done I'm really happy with the way it turned out um, you know it's actually a lot less complicated and a lot uh, went a lot smoother than I thought it would. Um, probably due to a, a lot of the planning I did, um, making sure that I was doing the right thing. So now I can't wait to get out and do some uh, do some boondocking and some camping in the sun, knowing that I uh, won't have to run my generator as much to keep my batteries charged up. So if you want more information about this project and other projects, uh, visit RVWithTito.com. And as always, happy RVing, everybody.